Are we are we ready to get this underway? Mm. Uh, yeah, give me one second. I'm gonna sort out my stream. Oh my god! I mean, assuming is Bree gonna be joining us? Uh, she says if she joins us, it will be a little bit later. Oh, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So it's up to you if you want to start a stream. I can stop the the starting for a little for a second. I uh won't stream then if she's gonna join. Okay, cool. You can record and then upload it later. Yeah, you're right. Let me do that. Let me also go get a drink and get everything fixed up. Yeah, I got you. What are these art assets for? What do I do with these? What, where do you see art assets? Oh, the library and stuff? Yeah. Uh, you can use them for just, like, placing down on the field or things. <laughs> I see. So let's say let's say we want to put your little wizard on there. We could, we could, we could, we could do that. We could put a little wizard boy. I was gonna say if you go down to sixteen characters, and then scroll down and find caster. It's got black hair and a little beard. Looks perfect. Sixteen uh, characters. Cool. Caster. Yeah, if you scroll down, he's, like, right next to Elf Archer and Fighter, but... Ah, here you go. Oh, uh, yeah, you found him. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, you can... That's... Yeah, you can drag the guys in here as well if you need to. Uh, no, I can't. That's not allowing me to touch him. Oh, uh, here then. Uh, fucking... What's, what's fucking Marcus? If I click, it just puts, like, a big old, uh... Oh, you have to drag and drop it. Yeah, I know it doesn't work. Hmm. Fighter right now and a centaur. That's what we have to deal with. <laughs> Let me look for yeah, a centaur. Dragging. dragging and dropping does not work. I can't use them. Don't let me. Interesting. Well, you have a player's handbook in here. Yeah, but it's in the PDFs. Oh, is that not apply to your library then? No, it, you can personally buy it for like $18. It's kind of jank. Yeah, I mean, I get where they get their money and stuff from. I can't knock them for playing the game. They're one of the most, uh, or they're one of the best like actual game board things. The only thing I really wish I had access to was I was still looking into the one on Steam. That allowed me to actually build the environment in 3D and we could roam around it. I thought that would be a lot cooler. That'd be pretty cool. But the only problem with that one is you can't have, like, your character sheets or anything in it, so we would have to have them on separate programs. Yeah. <laughs> Are you oh. placing cards? <laughs> I drew a pair of sevens. Dude, nice. How do I put these back? Removed? Yeah, you can just... No. You can just, oh, you just delete them. Yeah, you can just remove them. Uh, I don't know if those draw from my. How does that work? Draw two cards. Why it doesn't do anything now? That's what I'm confused about. This, this map looks fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh, man. I got cards over here. Actually, oh, it's showing me my cards. Okay, I got gotcha. you. The map looks so much better on the actual page that I have. <laughs> And I'll I will work towards rebuilding the map in all of its glory. Oh my god! But are you are you ready to start this? Cause there's a nice little little thing. I got a, little, a nice little excerpt in here. Yeah, give me give me one sec. I gotta go take my point back. I need to figure out how to put these cards back. I can hide them, but I still have the cards on my inventory. Uh. Oh, I can drag also, them out of my inventory, I see. If we're gonna record this, you guys might want to change your fucking usernames. Oh, what, like, down at the bottom? Yeah, right now we've got Zachary D and Levi M, so it's like... No, it's fine, I have something over him right now. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, wait, uh, what's the option to, like, minimize them to only the names? Do you remember? Uh... Give me a second... I will go to the settings to see if there's the, uh... Wait. My 
Icons roll 20. Your icon, player settings. Player avatar size. Well, that's not in here, so I guess I have to fucking go on actual roll 20. Hopefully. Let me see if there is a, like, setting that... Click the gear icon, my settings, scroll down, and find player avatar size. How the fuck do I put these cards back? Remove card. All right, but that just goes to there. Flip card? No. Take card. Just, uh... I'm so fucking confused. Get out of here, bitch. The fuck? So is there an actual thing for... Uh, there should be... Cause but there yeah. was four... But are you seeing it? Um, I am not seeing it at the moment. Not me neither. Uh, it's under audio and video settings and video display. Oh, why the fuck is it under video display? <laughs> because it's part of the video display. I don't know. It makes sense to me. Uh, names only. Okay, cool. Oh, I see Levi changed his name to These Nuts. <laughs> Maybe. I guess I should change my name as well. It's probably just easier that way. Okay, now I'm gonna go do my thing real quick while you guys do that. He's gonna go beat off. He's gonna be gone for like an hour and a half. No, I just gotta take my plate back. It's gonna happen. He's gonna go beat off. He'll be gone for an hour and a half. He's gonna go beat his plate off. <laughs> nice. Very impressive. <laughs> all right, all right. I should probably change my name. Did you just change it on roll twenty or? If you go over to your options, it's at the top personalization and display. You can change your display name. <sighs> It's funny that I just want to. <laughs> I just want to put bitch boy. <laughs> oh, God, uh, it's so cold in here. Got the fan going to keep the airflow, but it's fucking freezing. I need to turn the heat on. Be right back. Got you. All right, I'm back. All right, Kojima. Also, I go back to the dealership next week on Monday Ooh. because they're gonna do some kind of like weather proofing kind of thing to my car. Ooh. They got like some kind of anti-rust fog thing they're gonna put on. They're gonna put the rubberized undercoating. Oh, uh, Levi, the one thing that I can tell you that you're going to need most of all that you should buy for your car. Yeah. Is hold on, let me let me find them. Uh. Oh yeah, here they are. Is it a pair of fuzzy dice? No. I should get a fuzzy D twenty. That would be funny. No, it's uh, it's I sent the list of uh, the link to the oh, site. Oh, the uh, the floor mats and shit. Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty nice. 
The WeatherTech ones never failed me. Never failed anybody I know on their car. I I will stand by them till the day I die. Nice. Floor liner. Let's see. Like uh, they they go into every single car. Oh yeah, and you literally pick the make, model, and year. Yeah, and they laser guide it. So when you actually go to place them in your car, they're like exactly fitting into the spot that you need them to. Nice. like how tiny your guys' characters are, but they're still not tiny enough. <laughs> Zoom in at 150 and go see these tiny little nerd boys. They won't go any smaller. Just think of it like a Civ game. They're representations of us, not actually us. <laughs> Yeah, true. Can't wait. Got a little excerpt I get to read. This is going to be fantastic. So which, uh, which weather tech oh. mats do you get? The floor liner or... All weather floor mats. Uh, here, hold on. Let me grab. I guess the floor <laughs> liner is uh, the one that's custom made. Yeah, the you're... floor mats are just floor mats. You're you're gonna want the uh the floor liner, mm. or the all weather floor mats. Right. Yeah, I'm back. The floor liner is the one that's like actually. Yeah. Fitted. Yeah. And you should have no problem getting a uh, 2021 Chevy Malibu. I get a trim to fit a floor mat, too. That'd be nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Like, when you go to slide them in, Levi, so mm -hmm. easy. It just sits down as if it's a glove that's being put on for the first time. Oh, so good. That makes you just pop them out and clean them when you need to? Yes. Nice. They're the one Whoa. thing that I always suggest for anybody getting a new car. Sorry, sorry, Marcus. <laughs> so, uh, Zach? Yeah. I got a question. I have an, I have an answer. <laughs> so, you see those two little uh, icons little down there? Leaders of us. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I know how big they are compared to the city. Oh, that's not the issue, right? Yeah. You know what the issue is? <laughs> is it because you're a barbarian centaur? <laughs> no, no, no. You you want me to tell you what the issue is here? Because huh? you're not black. Is it because you're facing the wrong direction? I have my own icon. <laughs> oh. That doesn't look like a... That doesn't look like a, a centaur. That's not the full body. <laughs> Alright, here you go, Clip Clop. <laughs> here, here, oh, thank god. <laughs> I was gonna be like, if I move this and it's still there. <laughs> How do you put in your own picture? Uh, so, oh Jesus, I'm dropping shit. So if you go to your uh, avatar or your uh, journal thing with your character sheet, Mm -hmm. And you click on your character and you go up on the edit button. Mm -hmm. There are uh, usually the there's like two options. Oh, uh, you token, do like, yeah, do it for the avatar. Don't do it for the default token. Really? Yeah, because really? a default token is if you want your avatar to look different than how they currently look. Or yeah, if you have good. like, if you want to do like a full body for the avatar and then a face up. A face close up for the, the uh, token. Interesting. <laughs> I colored this in myself. I bet you did. I didn't draw it though, Lily drew it for me. Looks like it was colored with crayons! <laughs> it was. <laughs> I colored it in MS Paint. Oh no, Levi. Oh no. I forgot how smooth this pipe hits. Oh no. Smooth brain. 
Gonna have a smooth brain. Gonna take the irons in my brain. My smooth fooly brain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like figured that you didn't have a map ready for today. Yeah. And that's why I was like... <laughs> That's why I was trying to get your attention yesterday, but you were asleep. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I have a map thing for us. I was already in bed when you were messaging me about it, and I'm like, there's no way I'm getting up to go set up Roll20 right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, we can have a shitty map today, and we can learn to expand and have better maps tomorrow. <laughs> I was showing Levi the other day how mm -hmm. uh, VR chat is just infinitely better than Rec Room. And I took him to an Avatar world, and he was like, holy shit, there's so many. And he was like running down the hallways like a fucking, like a fucking grade schooler in a Walmart. Hey, listen, we don't talk about it. It was great. And then I took him to uh, the place that I watch anime in, mm -hmm. and he was like, over a thousand shows. <laughs> VR chat is just so solid and so illegal at the same time. It should be <laughs> like, dude, with <laughs> the fact that you can just pirate anime in VR chat feels like it should be illegal. Okay, now how do I drag the uh, the picture from my? So you click and hold your character's name and you drag him over onto the uh, thing. Oh. Hi, it's me. I'm a wizard. Oh, he's a wizard, Harry. All right. Credit so... to uh, Frankie the Mankey on DeviantArt for this uh, wizard. So that he is trip and clip clop <laughs> and venture into the town. <laughs> uh, so so are you guys ready for this amazing intro? We are ready. Maybe I'm looking at this WeatherTech uh, cargo system. Dude, it's like they have a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> WeatherTech cargo. What is this? <laughs> Sorry, they. they it's I, for your I, trunk. It's like uh, you, you put like this mat in, and it's got these pieces that basically keep your shit from sliding around. Yeah. I don't know why I thought that was for like <laughs> literally anything else besides what it actually was for. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. I don't know. Tell you, <laughs> Marcus, they're making weatherproof Yu-Gi-Oh mats now. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what, why would you need a weatherproof Yu-Gi-Oh mat? What if it starts to rain, but you need to finish the duel? <laughs> what? <laughs> what if panties start dropping when you bring out the Exodia or whatever? Yeah, what are you going to do when the rushing falls come towards you? <laughs> when are we dueling outside? In bad weather? You never know when you're going to be outside and someone's going to challenge you to a d d d d d d d duel. Okay, well, I have actually had a duel outside in in a college once, so but it was Point good weather. Proven. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you had one in nice weather, but what if you have one in bad weather? Then you need the the weather. Yeah, you're an idiot for <laughs> dueling outside. <laughs> the weather resistant Yu-Gi-Oh mat. What if we get it the weather resistant uh, Yu-Gi-Oh mat, and then it includes a free jar? Is that okay? Sure, why not? What are Yu-Gi-Oh masks typically made out of, anyway? Just cloth. Uh, yeah, it's like, well, it's dependent. Sometimes they're made of cloth, sometimes they're made of, uh, rubber. They're like, uh... Like cloth on the top and rubber on the bottom. They, oh, they're like, uh... Mouse pads. Mouse pad, basically. Yes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I feel like those are pretty resistant to water if you get the rubber ones, right? Yeah. yeah. The, uh, cloth ones are really expensive, though, like the full cloth ones. Mm. They're extremely expensive, and they're not worth it in my opinion trash like, it's like 120 bucks for like a decent one and then you spill something on it and it's like fuck well i can't do anything with this <laughs> literal trash <laughs> i just i just like how we went on from car mats to Yu-Gi-Oh mats to, to actually discussing the difference between each types of mat and how the higher priced ones are bullshit anyways all right well put me in coach i'm ready to play all right Levi and Marcus find themselves around the table once again for their oh, next D&D &D campaign. Oh my god, shut up for a second. <laughs> oh, my name's Almaraz, actually. 
I will be there in a second, you you dorks. Okay, so Zach, <laughs> Zach excited saying something along the lines of, I have a new set of dice, of actual magic dice. Each questioned their friend's sanity, but none would know the truth behind his words. The start of the campaign was like any other, except for Zach rolled his first die, and with a whoosh, everyone awakens at the edge of a forest just outside of town. The, the old sign denounced its name, Grestel, population 5,348. An ethereal voice comes from the sky. Oops. <laughs> Man, what the fuck is this? Guys, I think you are in my D and D world. <laughs> this uh, this this forest is kind of low poly, chief. Yeah, why does everything look so poorly drawn? <laughs> L have some imagination because I didn't get to make a good map. You guys suck so much. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I, well, I I love well, how it says responses next to this and I knew these were going to be the responses. <laughs> well, first things first, I'd like to look around the forest cuz I'm interested in nature. Why are you interested uh, in nature, you fucking nerd? I'm a fucking centaur. <laughs> there's the uh there's the standard rustling and bustling, just small creatures. It seems like anything dangerous hasn't been near the edge of the forest in a while. Hmm. Nothing dangerous near the edge of the forest you say yeah there's no like claw marks or anything along the way that you can see that something large has been moving towards the city in any shape or form it's just standard guessing. small nature stuff am i able to uh roll a nature check to determine the uh livelihood of the wilderness around us sure sick because i want to see uh if i want to see if the uh town is like taking care of its uh wildlife or not from or what 19 jesus christ from what I, from what you can see from the uh outside of the forest it appears that the regular wilderness creatures seem to be taken very uh, very well care of and it doesn't appear as if any genuine nature is destroyed in any shape or fashion it looks well taken care of. This place looks nice. I wouldn't <laughs> mind staying here for a while. Can I roll a history check to see if I know anything about the town? Sure. Uh, we'll see. 1d20. Uh, roll. Bam, look at that, I got a 6. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I just add the number here, right? Uh, it should auto-calculate, or... To, did okay never mind then so what would the total be with your actual knowledge my history skill is six so i rolled a 12 you you rolled a 12 all right that that's enough to get i would say the the basics for it uh zach whispers an ethereal voice into your ear and says this magical town has always been blessed with mana due to the world tree even as it leaked into the ground causing the large dungeon to form this town was once just a nice place for elves, but due to the increase of dangers in the dungeon, they have opened their borders. Wait, hold on. Is there like a Still. labyrinth beneath the town? Mm-hmm. Is this fucking oh, uh, how not to pick up a girl in a dungeon? Nope. The tree just became a dungeon? The tree, because of mana, and usually how dungeons forms is a large amount of mana eventually forms a okay, dungeon. Okay, hold up. The, the dungeon just formed. Yeah. Nobody built the dungeon, it just formed. It just yeah. came into being. Yeah. Yeah. That breaks all the laws of physics and conservation of energy, but I'm going to ignore it. I'll let it slide. You're in a world of magic. <laughs> well, I guess you just got transported to a world of magic, and you're just like, this is bullshit, and science exists. <laughs> so the tree itself is a labyrinth, and there's not a labyrinth beneath it? No, there's no, a there's labyrinth. A, there, he, he made it pretty clear it's beneath it, yeah. Okay, yeah, sick. the 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 dungeon appeared beneath the tree just because of the mana that leaked into the ground from the tree itself. Gotcha, gotcha. And I propose that we go into town and find a contract on goblins. <laughs> a contract on goblins? Do we even know if goblins exist in this world? I don't know, but I want to kill some goblins. You want to kill some goblins? Well, I'm down. I'm okay with going to a guild house, but. 
<laughs> we'll have to see what other jobs they have there first as well. Goblins. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened, but I'll try to fix it so you guys can get out of the world. There isn't anything that could kill you nearby, so you should be fine. I would make my way to town. You guys find <laughs> 20 gold on the ground on your way into town. Hey, wait. Gold. Hold, hold on, hold on. Hmm. Wait a minute, Mr. Mr. Zach DM. Hmm. If we die in the game, do we die in real life? That's a question I don't know, but there's resurrection in that world, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking rich. Okay, so wait, do we oh, find gold. 20 gold each, or we have split the 20 gold? You find 20 gold each. Okay. Let's go. I'm putting 20 gold in my character sheet. Uh, as that you seems got... like a lot of money, but I mean, you know, I'll take it. Gen no. well, well, genuinely, at level one, when you get to the end of the adventure, in some ways, you should have about 300 gold, so it's not... <laughs> oh, 300 gold at level one? What the fuck? <laughs> Some rich-ass so, adventurers. Go I'm, I'm gonna glance around at my body and just kind of be like, you know, if I thought, if I knew that we were going to be transported into the world of the characters we created, I probably would have chosen to make my character different. <laughs> I, this guy literally made his character, he's bitching. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. You can change it if you so choose in the second session. <laughs> well, no, because now I'm gonna play her out of spite. <laughs> uh, ma Making your way up to the gate for the town, you spot a, uh, let's see... There is a guard outside the gate checking in a group of adventurers, then they move on to a caravan of people that look to be about merchants, and then they're coming up to your group. So we're at the gates right now? Yeah. Sick. And they say the words identification? Hmm. I would like to roll a... Wait, 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 yeah. wait. Hold up, I've got a five in deception, I'm just gonna point that out. <laughs> It, oh, that's it, okay, because I have a better idea. I would like to persuade them into... Mm, what? What's the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> into These letting you not, through? These are not no. the trees you're looking for. No. It, <laughs> I would like to persuade them through uh, music. Into, are you hard? Into, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to get their minds off of checking for identification. Okay. So, how would that work? Because, I mean, I am... I, I do have an instrument. I have a lyre. Do you longer. do you have any points into the actual, like, uh... I do. I'm proficient with it, actually. Oh, okay, right. cool. Yeah. Do you have the perform skill? Uh, I think proficiency gives me the uh, ability to use it. Well, it's based on your charisma. I'm just saying your modifier. Oh, my modifier. Oh... Uh, oh. So if you're proficient in it, you get to add your modifier to it. Okay, cool. So uh, do I have to roll a persuasion and then roll a performance check? I will... <laughs> I will allow you to use the bonus of both... Uh, do you want to... Okay, roll the performance first, and let's see if we can just distract them enough. I'll be honest, the performance persuasion are both charisma, so it's going to be the same either way. Yeah. yeah. Eight. <laughs> All right, you better go for that 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 persuasion now. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Wait, how do you do rolls like that? Uh, I click on, so you click on the, uh, so on your sheet in the core, if you look at where it says, like, acrobatics, animal handling, that shit, you just click just on click it. On and it oh. adds the modifier. Oh, I wish I would have known that before, because I, like, actually rolled something and it added it. Okay. That, that's why I was wondering before. I'm like, oh, man, that's weird. And yeah, I didn't <laughs> know you could just look on it. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Cool. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly, randomly, <laughs> the cards are like, huh. I don't know why, but this very mediocre playing of this instrument... <laughs> is uh is uh 
It's quite nice. It's a good uh it's a good rhythm. Did did you study the instrument beforehand? Oh, actually, uh I am a I'm an initiate from the Conclave of Celestia. Oh. And this would explain why I'm a centaur. <laughs> Man, well, I don't know what any of that is. I'm just imagining Levi just like, I just got here, man. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just, I'm using my character's knowledge, all right? And Does the to... city have a dispensary? <laughs> <laughs> so, it does, and it's ran by an individual, so yes. Well, I would hope it's ran by an individual as opposed to, like, nobody. <laughs> no, I know, but <laughs> you'll find out later. Anyways, uh... The guard, why, am I not, why am I not surprised that marijuana is going to be a plot point? <laughs> the guard, not uh, not really, uh, <laughs> not really, just uh, God damn it, he's he's surprised to find someone of you just so far away from his home. He's like, we don't get many centaurs around here, but uh, you must be coming for the labyrinth that formed a while back. Uh. I don't know if this would be, like, a deception or anything, because I'm going to have to, like, lie here. <laughs> because I'm like, going to roll a deception and say, yes, that's why we're here. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, same. Bam, 19. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>. shit! <laughs> you, Bam, you... 10. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of what course, you... <laughs> labyrinth. That's, that's why we're here, to go explore the labyrinth. And then behind in you, the yeah. Middle of the city, under the tree. <laughs> behind you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, the labyrinth. <laughs> you see, it was the mission that I was tasked with when I left the conclave was to investigate the labyrinth here and see whether I can decipher any secrets for my people or not. <laughs> Levi, you step forward very triumphantly, <laughs> declare <laughs> we are. <laughs> we did come here for the labyrinth. And Marcus gives his little little oh, lines so behind nice. you. <laughs> that no one's listening to. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's listening to Levi and you're in the background like, I came here because it was a part of the order in which I was given. <laughs> I came here because the centaurs were very intrigued by the world tree and they wanted me to decipher some secrets from it. Uh... In which she's like, well, I hope both of you enjoy. It's a fantastic city. Your best bet is probably to visit the guild first. They'll uh, they'll give you some information, and you uh, you want to go you want to go about four streets down, and it will be on the southwest corner around the world tree. It's close due to the proximity for the dungeon. Here, I got you. I see, I see. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're making our way downtown. Making our way downtown. Running fast. Is there anything that we see on, along the way? You see a, uh, you notice that mainly the right side, like the eastern side of town that you guys are going through, is mainly industrial looking things. It looks like stuff that's being mass produced or people working on various, it looks like the industrial side of town. It looks I like, like we're just sliding our pieces one <laughs> yeah. time at a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We gotta get where we're going, man. You gotta follow the road. On the <laughs> left... Wrong turn. <laughs> said four streets down. It's up this way. Oh, four streets down. Oh, sh shit. I took a wrong turn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that other road does lead up to the back door of the guild, so you would have been fine either way, but yes. <laughs> uh, and on the left side, you notice that mainly things in this section oh. Oh. of the uh, of the town seem to be more retail-oriented. They appear to be storefronts, people selling a variety of things. Uh, uh, nice. And it appears that the more popular shops have made their way onto the main roads, while the less popular, more... <laughs> the more shoddy shops are sort of strewn about in the back streets. Would we have noticed any uh, abundant crime in the city on the way here? Uh, 
you may be able to see deals being made in alleyways, but there's not like an abundant of you don't see anybody getting mugged or anything. <laughs> Yet. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so after you guys go into the uh go into the actual guild, mm -hmm. there is a Bunch of tables, adventurers are sitting at, drinking, having a good time, and whatever they need to do before they go out on their quests, or talking about how their quests have went. Uh, and at the end is three booths, each manned by an individual. Uh, one of them is a young man who appears to be an elf. One is a young woman who appears to be human. And the last one appears to be a short individual, and she is at the middle booth. Interesting. This appears to be where you can talk to people, and there is a grand, there is a grand picture of the guild master above the the booths where you can check in and uh, talk with the guild members. And it shows a individual knight with a red feather upon his helmet. He appears to have some sort of sun on his chest. And he's donned all in armor. Can I approach the elven woman and ask her in her own language about where to register for the guild? The young man. <laughs> oh, was it a young man? Oh. Yeah. Who just... looks like... <laughs> Miss Ginger Dem, oh god. <laughs> Looks at you like, uh, yeah. Yes, you can, uh, you can use your ID to register for the guild here. <laughs> uh, Wait, do we even have IDs? <laughs> yeah, Vizzy is gonna tilt her head to the side and ask, what, where do I procure an ID? Everything goes to grayscale for a second. <laughs> Good and you just, you just hear, ah, oh, shit, sorry. Let's say you find them in your back pockets. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I need to learn that. Uh. Uh, out of your pockets, you pull an intricate card with your name, level, and a variety of other stats. <laughs> that is your identification of this world. Keep track of those as they function as a map and display your character sheets. Oh, yo, do they uh, also have, like, <laughs> do they have instant messenger on them? <laughs> yes like moonlit fantasy <laughs> yes it is a sort of like all-in-one device <laughs> yo that's cool as shit oh <laughs> hell yeah i'm gonna send uh, the levi i'm gonna send the levi a little uh instant message <laughs> through the uh get, through the id card that says uh you're gay <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh god he's busting <laughs> i can't believe you've done this you've been They're... betrayed <laughs> <laughs> I, I I love to think that he's right behind you, right behind. It just takes out his ID. He's looking at it. Just sees your gay pop up on the screen. <laughs> what? Ah. Uh, on the ID card, it does specify your actual characters' names. So on yours, Levi, it says Almaris, but in like a little quotation mark that nobody can see, it says Levi. <laughs> nice. And then it has your character's name as well, Marcus, and then a little excerpt with uh, your name next to it. Beautiful. All right, well, now I'm going to ask the uh, elven fellow uh, where the board is, because I can't seem to find it. <laughs> Can I roll an investigation check to look around for the board? So he... So there, there is a quest board that's over on one of the walls... But it appears oh, to be an all, like, digital in some way, just like a tablet that has all of the quests on it. Goddamn, where are we? Fucking Star Wars? Sir, this is clearly cyberpunk. I'm gonna offer him a bow and then, uh, back away and walk towards the, uh, board with, uh... the fuck is your character's name, Levi? <laughs> Elmeraz, the same thing it's always oh, been. Oh, yeah. I'll, uh, go towards the board with Elmeraz. Upon reaching the board, uh, for anybody magically inclined, you feel a bit of mana coming from it. Arcana check, go. Nine. Yo, I got this. 
arcana check, huh? Oh yeah. They need to roll the fucking three. <laughs> One. Nat, nat 20, oh boy. <laughs> the fucking illiterate barbarian is able to identify the magic board, but not me. Actually, funny enough, I have a, a plus one modifier for my int. <laughs> like uh, I said, basically illiterate. Hey man. You do know that from what you can see, Levi, from this thing, it is a wonderful construction of magic that you don't know how it's working. <laughs> Wow, cool. Uh, Marcus, Adam. from your variety of knowledge that you are carrying from anime <laughs> and various other sources in the world, <laughs> you know that this is probably something that they are able to create in this world with runes and then have magic supplied to it, in which that's how it's displaying all of this. <laughs> hmm. Am I able to do a... Uh history check because i want to see if these runes are dwarven made or not okay would it be history or would it be like insight i feel like it'd be insight right insight is if you're trying to determine someone's motives it's only applies to other people oh, if you okay. if if you can justify it to me I would say then you can maybe investigation question mark mm. and so so i think at this point because you're just trying to Gauge, I'll and I would probably say a history. Yeah, seventeen. Man, fucking this program loves you. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, you hear an ethereal whisper. <laughs> uh, this world has actually taken the time to develop actual magic tools that really resemble modern day amenities. Hmm. So that means that their medicine's probably good too. Yes. <laughs> wonderful Thank you're God. going to want to know who runs but the pharmacy do they have socialized <laughs> oh, no, health care oh no please no is it big pharma i hope it's not big pharma <laughs> let's uh let's hope that they got showers in this place though it'd suck if uh they had all this modern technology and no showers my guy you're a fucking horse you don't need to take a shower uh, hey man half of me is a horse <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the man half needs a shower <laughs> yeah. Plus, it's a little hard to wipe my ass with this body. <laughs> he Again, has an elongated You're a horse. Stick. It's not like it matters. Yeah, it you lift matter. up your tail you, and you just shit on the ground. Man, I don't want to walk around with a shitty butthole. Buddy, you're a horse. Yeah, well, I didn't choose this. Okay, we're stuck in these bodies. You're not. I said you could change the ethereal no, voice no. ringing out. <laughs> no, be quiet. <laughs> I thought you were originally going for little devil boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was, but I like centaurs. Centaurs are cool. Well, then quit your bitching. <laughs> uh, anyway, on the, uh... Yes, on the board, there's a variety of quests, and uh, it asks you to just, if you want to accept a quest, you just place your ID onto the thing. I want to look for one that has goblins. There is a simple quest that just involves goblins. I slap my ID against it. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> because you guys had registered with the guild by sticking your cards into the thing, but you guys talked over me so I couldn't say it. <laughs> you were registered with the guild, <laughs> and the uh, quest sinks into your thing, and uh, it allows just both party members to see that you have accepted a quest for goblins. Perfect. It also with... allows you to reject the quest if you want to, Marcus. <laughs> What's with you and goblins? Uh, I'm going to look at the other quests on the board. They killed my family. Now they all must die. Uh, there are... The other ones that are in your current ranking in the guild, you can go help some people around town find their lost pets. <laughs> You can go outside and get some medicinal herbs or something that somebody is looking for. Uh, there is also a couple of construction jobs that need help in the city. Hmm. Medicinal herbs, you say? Mm-hmm. You always gotta mm. hit them with the medicinal herb quest. <laughs> you know... I'm going to pick up the uh, the construction quest, only because I feel like I would be very useful since I have increased carry weight and strength as a centaur. 
Yeah. But uh, I'm going to go with uh, Almaraz to help him with his goblin quest, because we don't know how strong the goblins are in this world. That is extremely true. Watch the goblins be like level 20. I would never do that. Levi's about to become Goblin Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> It's all been leading to. <laughs> this is actually just the labyrinth is filled with goblins. <laughs> oh no. For some reason. So the, uh, uh, does this ID come with a map? Yeah. So I'm going to open the map and uh, try to see if it uh, gives us like quest locations. It does. It's surprisingly and a point gives a... Uh, it shows the full city, and then it shows exactly where they're seeming to have a goblin problem. Hmm. And the, the area that they are saying they're having a bit of trouble with goblins is right over here. Hmm. Ah, uh, very nice. It appears we have to go to the forest. I would just like to point out that I have a familiar spell. I can conjure one. Yes. Um, you... Some of the options are really weird. Yeah? There's bat, cat, crab, <laughs> frog or toad, hawk, lizard, octopus, owl, oh, man. poisonous snake, uh, a fish. You can get a fish familiar. A oh, rat, cool. a raven, a seahorse, a spider, or a weasel. I feel like a lot of those are just used for, like, investigating type spaces. <laughs> I don't know. Some of those are really weird, like seahorse, fish, and uh, crab. <laughs> yeah. You can't do, like, a wolf or something? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a familiar. It's, no, that's be small. Oh, damn. <laughs> Interesting. Well, uh, I'm going to show the map to Almaraz and... Uh... Talk to him a little bit. Hey, we should probably go to this forest over here. That's where the uh, quest marker is for this goblin thing you picked up. Uh-huh. I agree. We should go there. We should kill all the fucking goblins. Do you have all of your gear on you? I have a staff. We're not missing anything, are we? And a focus. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to be our vanguard. Very nice. <laughs> Uh, a shield or something? A whispered, if you guys want to go to the blacksmith, you can. <laughs> I can, no. I can give you guys some gear. Mm, man, I'm okay. I think we'll be fine. All right. Uh, this is exactly how that. Uh, this is exactly how that mimic house got you guys last time. Uh, so, <laughs> does the guild card happen to have a like monsterpedia on it? <laughs> of like, uh, just like the straight up monster manual. Yeah, pretty much. No. Damn. I was gonna see if I could determine the weaknesses of the goblins. Uh, I assume they're weak to... I mean, they're probably weak to both bludgeoning and slashing. But <laughs> from, if wearing armor, bludgeoning might help more. From what you remember of goblins, they are weak to just practically everything. Sick. In that case, I will... Uh, I'll just have my mall at the ready. <laughs> from, uh... <laughs> from the, uh, ethereal voice you hear, guys, I think someone is breaking into our house. I'll be right back, but if I'm not, <laughs> please be careful. I'll give you some equipment to make your lives easier. Try your best on, the <laughs> on that side as well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> breaking into the house, oh god. <laughs> He's having First a Jumanji. Did. She's having a fucking Jumanji <laughs> I'm having there. ju <laughs> There's just <laughs> goblins in my house as well. <laughs> <laughs> Upon arriving at the location, it is amongst the trees. The, the totally there trees. Uh, yeah. There appears to be a... As you're approaching in the bushes, trying not to make any noises, uh, you do see a party of goblins who are currently just stabbing the shit out of a deer. Have they noticed us? No. Okay. Uh, I may need to prepare a little bit here. 
Give me what's one uh what's everybody's I... HP real fast? Seven. Fourteen. Okay. I'm awesome. gonna I'm gonna roll a perception check and see if I can notice anything uh, around that could help out. Mm -hmm. Twenty one. Twenty one. Uh, from what you can see, there is two that are currently dealing with the deer, and one appears to be more towards the city wall, making sure that no guards or anybody are coming. Interesting. Hmm. He appears to have a short bow as well, and the other two appear to have scimitars. Short bow, and two of them have scimitars. Mm -hmm. Approximately uh, like, how far away is the one with the bow? He is, if we're going to place him, because I can go grab some goblin boys. I'm gonna whisper. I'm gonna whisper to Elmer as I'm gonna say, uh, "Hey, if you can handle the one with the bow, I can charge in and get the two with the scimitars." But. <laughs> As are like right here, oh, gotcha. is, and they are ever. Oh, there we go. Give me my, give me my goblins. Gobble gobble. Let's just say that guy is like right here. Would you say that they're about thirty feet away from us right now? Yes. Sick. That's about where they are to make it as easy as possible. <laughs> He's very clearly got a crossbow, not a short bow, but you know, I'll let it slide. But, hurry, hold yeah, on. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, oh, you want to switch this. places? Yeah, switch places. There we go. I'm going to look over to Elmarez and uh, kind of be like, hey, don't miss your don't miss your shot because if you do he's probably gonna aim at me uh no it'll be fine i'm gonna equip my maul now all right and prepare myself for a charge do we have to equip our weapons or are they just there you you in any other scenario i would say you have to equip them but because you guys are getting ready for battle you have already equipped them yeah. okay can i cast magic missile Sure. At the one with the short wait. bow. Oh, wait. Wait, what do you want? What? We should do this at the same time so that one of us doesn't get fucked by uh, initiative. Uh, uh, okay. You both ready to take your shots at the same time? Yeah, I'm gonna just start running while Almarez is casting his uh, magic missile. Did you want I'm... to, because they're currently facing off against the deer over here, did you want to make your way around and try to sneak attack them from the back? No, I'm just going to use charge. Okay, cool. Because uh, I have to move 30 feet in a straight, like in a straight line towards the target. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. why I asked if this was about 30 feet. <laughs> Uh, the moment that he whinnies up to go start the charge, you fire the magic missile to indicate the charge. Eh. I'm gonna go after this one right here first. Okay. Can I really just roll a fucking four? Unbelievable. 1d4 plus one. I got four. Four damage? Four damage. <laughs> oh, Wait, also... uh, roll to see if you hit. Oh, yeah, you're right. What, what is that, intelligence? It's a, uh, it's a spell check, so yeah, it's a yeah. int modifier. Int modifier, how do I do the? Do I just roll int? Wait, are you a, uh, you're a wizard, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's int. Oh, I got an nice. 18, I guess. You are able to uh, surpass this thing, and you do four damage to him. Nice. Not expecting it, uh, the... <laughs> the the uh, magic missile actually hits the string as well, disabling his short bow. Ha. Hits him for four damage. <laughs> Get fuck, nerd. <laughs> I'm uh, using this, Mister Dungeon Master. <laughs> the uh... charge. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna roll to hit. Uh, and it's gonna be this guy on the left of me. 
Okay. Whoo! Oh, is that yep. a nat 20? No, uh, it goes green if it's a nat 20. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, you... I, I kept it on the GM thing, not public. <laughs> <laughs> which is fine it's a it's a 24 you were perfectly capable of charging and beating the shit out of this one goblin <laughs> yeah no rolling damage and i also have to roll my hooves yes uh do i have to roll my do i have to roll a hit for my hooves as well mm. as i mean they are technically a separate weapon <laughs> They are a separate weapon. I won't make you roll for that right now because of just the fact that you're charging into them. Oh, okay, cool. So that is my maul, a 13. And for my hooves, five. You, <laughs> you stomp the goblin into a bloody paste in front of you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> The other okay. goblin is immediately shocked and confused. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, and then the initiative actually uh, starts. Can I, uh, like, before initiative starts, can I point at the goblin and be like, this is going to be you next? <laughs> uh, roll for an intimidation or of some sort. Yo. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see the goblin in front of you, who is now absolutely terrified, piss and shit himself. <laughs> As he uh, attempts to escape, provoking an attack of opportunity. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so how do you do attacks of opportunity again? Uh, you just roll with advantage, right? Yeah, you just roll with advantage. So is it... Uh, Select like the advantage thing and just uh, just hit a hit a roll. I want to see what oh. the advantage does. So I roll to hit, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, so yeah, it just takes the best of two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a hit. <laughs> a whole baby. <laughs> I can't use my hooves again, unfortunately. No, but Jesus Christ, you still crack his skull open. You immediately <laughs> threaten him. He attempts to get away, only to be killed immediately afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love centaurs, dude. They're so cool. Uh, uh, and then we actually need to do initiative. Sick. Okay. Oh, I need, I need, I need dice. Oh. Nice All initiative, right. bro. Thanks, man. Oh, I guess the point fourteen is there in case people get like the same rolls. Maybe. I have 5.09. Yes, it's in there because if somebody gets the same roll, it immediately uses a decimal point for dex. Oh, cool. Nice. I added that because it seemed really useful, and I liked the idea of it. <laughs> so we're rolling initiative for this one fucking goblin over here who doesn't have a weapon anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Is roll? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That poor bastard. Man, who... Why wasn't this quest picked up yet? It was so fucking easy. <laughs> Aren't you glad I picked this quest, Marcus? Just Every, everybody in town was just worried about the fact that... Or nobody was worried in town. It's just a simple quest. But everybody is more worried about the monsters inside the dungeon rather than the monsters outside the fucking wall. <laughs> you know, understandable, this quest probably doesn't pay well either. Yeah. Uh, so, whatever, he, if we fucking Marcus, go first. <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay, let's see. So I can move 40 feet. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna charge the other one as well? <laughs> uh, well, let me see if this has, like, a cooldown or some shit. Uh, no, it's just... It's just a racial feature, and it uses my bonus action for the hooves, though. Uh, I kind of want to see what Levi want, what Levi can do, though. Because <laughs> I only saw him cast a spell, and I saw it disarm the goblin, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And just I mean, I didn't, over fucking... didn't intentionally do it, but you know. <laughs> you you rolled very high on your on your roll, so I was just like, oh, I could I could give him a little tidbit on this to save save trouble later. 
Uh, uh, um, did you want to hold your action and wait for Levi to act first? No, I'm going to run over and just, like, stand in front of Levi and protect him. Okay. Levi, do you want to... <laughs> what how, do you want to... How far from me is the last remaining goblin? Uh, he is roughly about, probably, like, five, ten feet. All right, I'm going to take a step to the right of Marcus, so I don't hit him. And I'm going to cast Burning Hand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, here's my intelligence roll to see if I hit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And here's Burning Hands. The worst Damn. part... The worst part oh, and you is... rolled a one on it too. Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! The worst part is, is that it's a. Uh... Oh yeah. The goblin has to roll a dex save. <laughs> All right. Is it a dex save or is it a? It's a dex oh. save. Yeah. Does he also have to roll spell save? Uh. Because it does say spell save DC 14. And probably, yeah. Uh, oh, he, well, didn't, he didn't do it. Uh, yeah, he rolled a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. <laughs> so how much damage is being done to this man? 11 fire. Oh, he is. <laughs> you burn the goblin to a crisp in front of you. Did I catch anything else on fire? Uh, No, the wall is stone. You didn't have okay. to worry about it. Wonderful. Oh, God. Though you hear a, a voice from up top on the wall go, Oi! Don't be firing fire magic so blindly at the wall! <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize for my friend's incompetence. Uh, call but, it uh, incompetence, but that goblin doesn't exist anymore, so... <laughs> You're able to successfully gather the uh, ears of the goblins to take back as credit. Is the one that he burned, is it, or the ears charred? Yes. Is the one that I fucking, <laughs> like, mashed into potato paste, to, like, even salvageable? Uh, uh, so the ear, the ear that you can salvage from the hoof print is, like, the corner of it. <laughs> And the, there's one intact ear, and then there's just one charred ear. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> We're going to have to uh, work on our, uh, work on our uh, kill quality. <laughs> Listen, you guys are getting used to your new bodies. <laughs> Here, you've now got two extra legs. <laughs> and Levi can shoot magic now. <laughs> True. <laughs> Alright, so are you guys going to venture back to the guild to sell your things? That would be... Yeah. Well, actually, can I search around what the uh, the goblins room here, see if there's anything useful? Uh, sure. Uh, oh, what do yeah, you want me to roll no for that? Idea. Perception or investigation? Yeah, perception. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, yeah. Okay, well, way. yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh... From what you can tell, they had just recently killed the 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 deer that they were actually uh, just hunting for food and everything. You know that if you take it back to the guild, you can get a decent price for the meat and the skin uh, for the uh, the deer. Can I uh, toss it under Asmo's back here? Hey, you better cover that before you put it on me. I don't want goblin blood all over my back. It's uh, a deer. It's not goblin. Oh, it's a deer. Oh, my bad. I misheard. <laughs> Here, hold on. I know exactly what... Fucking 20 psychic damage from being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh... <laughs> go ahead and use a... Nature check, Marcus. Ooh, I'm wait. I'm doing a nature check. Yeah. Interesting. Six. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I was <laughs> I was going to say that you prepare the uh, the deer to nicely lay on top of you, but now you just sort of toss it on the back. Isn't isn't that a uh, athletics check because I have to lift something? 
No, well, he helps you get it on top of there. I was seeing if you could uh, make a nature check to prepare the deer so it was easier to travel. Oh, I see. You, like, take out the venison and shit? Yeah. It's just, ha it's just hanging open right now. It, 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 oh. it hasn't even been bled properly. <laughs> oh, sweet mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. All right, hold on. Just just to save Marcus's fucking sanity, Levi, can you also make a nature check? See if you remember how to prepare. <laughs> how is your nature check higher than mine? Because <laughs> I'm an elf. I'm half elf. But I'm a centaur. I'm, I'm part nature. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't know. <laughs> you... you <laughs> Just for sanity, just because you're an average person, you you would somehow know that you have to drain the blood a little bit better to make it easier on yourself. So you're able to just hang it upside down a little bit to make sure that it's out. Perfect. <laughs> and then you're also, able to put the uh, the lifeless corpse. Nice. Also, I realize it's based on your int, not your... Uh, it has nothing to do with being an elf. My bad. Okay. I just have four intelligence. Damn. Uh, but yeah, from, uh, from here, you guys are able to take the ears and stuff back to the guild. I'll delete all these little guys. Beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. Also, you can put, like, uh, X's on them when they're dead, by the way. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, if you select them, it gives you an option to put an X on them. Oh, Yo, shit. Yo, this motherfucker's <laughs> sprinting. <laughs> I mean, you guys are just gonna end up there anyways. I don't know why you went through the whole <laughs> journey of pressing the path. <laughs> uh, as you guys arrive back to the guild, they are shocked by how fast you are. <laughs> are you just leaving? <laughs> I was just testing it out. You can actually use the arrow keys. It's great. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's cool, actually. Yo. God, this is going to be ridiculous. We're just fawning over the things that we're discovering. Uh, when you guys get back to the guild, the... Uh... There he goes. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. He's gone now. <laughs> uh, as you guys arrive at the guild, they're shocked by how fast you're back. They're like, we don't get many... We don't get many beginning adventurers who arrive back so fast after a quest. No, oh, I mean, I thought it was, you know, pretty simple. There was only three of them. Yeah. Listen, sometimes the newbie adventurers coming here to make a quick profit off of the dungeon start off by taking those quests, and some people cannot defeat those goblins. Damn. This is literally Goblin Slayer. <laughs> uh, they say, is there any more quests that you want to take for the day? Or is there any certain place you're looking for? Uh, well, where can I go to sell this deer corpse? Also, I accepted a quest for construction I still need to do. Hmm. Construction is going to be, and they will look down at your map, and they will point to the housing place. And the housing district, and they say that there's help on a building that needs to be constructed over here. Oh, cool. No, I'm not come with you and do that. Are you sure your weak little elf hands can do it? Listen, I have a mage hand spell. I can carry up to ten pounds with it. It's fine. <laughs> he's oh, just ten pounds. <laughs> he's just moving like a stack of bricks at a time. <laughs> Me carrying like an entire building in my hands while we buy us to carry a single brick. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, like if you need to pass the tools, I can pass the tools real easy. You know the, what? Uh... I like it. The elf will also point over to a counter and just say, we have a butcher in-house that will take care of that. This guild's got everything. Shit. All right, uh, well, I'm going to walk over to the butcher. You also get the ten silver from the goblin quest. Ten silver? It did pay pretty bad. <laughs> it's a beginning quest. I don't know what you want. How could you? All right. Well, I you guess already let's go. found twenty gold each on the ground. Quit being so so antsy. We just gotta hope the uh, owner of that twenty gold never finds out who picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you both got twenty gold. That's forty gold. We gotta figure out who fucking dropped that. Yeah. No. Wait, were, no. were there any dead gangsters laying around with the twenty gold? No, I literally just in in character dropped it in front of you guys, so you would have money. 
Okay, so it doesn't actually belong to anybody, okay. Yes. It was just willed you. into existence. So you got you guys are good. You don't have to worry about somebody going looking for reward, trying to find forty gold, reward oh. one gold. <laughs> Over here presenting us with a straw man argument. <laughs> I, I, was, down the line. I was definitely feeling like, like uh, you know, no country for old Ben coming on here. <laughs> like, oh hey, look. A uh, briefcase with a million dollars in it, why not? Ah, oh, perfect. And then like 20 hours later, it's like, you fool, you took my briefcase with 20 million dollars and you didn't even give it back to me. <laughs> yeah, and then you have fucking Javier Bardem coming after you. Now yeah. you're going to die! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, they, they said that they would pay probably about a gold for the deer if it's in a decent enough condition. What what uh, what other missions are there on the board? Because I know there's one for what medicinal herbs. There was the one for medicinal herbs. There was the one for the housing repair, and then the other the other simple one was looking for somebody's lost pet. So uh, you have to inspect the deer to see how good of quality it is. Sure. Should we just uh take both these other quests too? Hmm. I mean, we just gotta Ooh, find a pet and get some herb, right? Yeah, Seems easy enough. Well. We can split up so you can go do one, and I can go do the other, and we can meet up for the last one. Uh, sure. Which one would be the hardest? Uh, uh, I can do the construction myself. So, which one of those would be hardest for you? Uh, uh the hardest one for Levi would probably be the medicinal herbs one. But that is luckily a little bit outside of this area, more towards a plains to the east. I'll go find a pet. And the pet is somewhere in the housing district, and they last were seen somewhere in this area. All right. Sounds good to me. So. That does mean that after you're done, if you find the pet or you get done with the construction first, you guys can meet up in the uh, the housing district and then go out the east gates to go get them into small herbs. Sounds Indeed. good. Cool. Uh, <laughs> as you journey down the streets, Levi going north with uh, with Marcus, and after oh no. <laughs> You guys will notice that the other district to the northwest appears to be all larger buildings, castles, larger houses, and everything. It appears to be the royalty of the uh, the town, the higher end fucking, district. Fucking rich people. Looks like no matter where you're at, there's always a few of them. Uh, when you arrive on site, they are surprised that a centaur was coming for such a low-level quest, but they seem ecstatic to use your strength. Uh, the main thing that they were lacking is they were lacking manpower to actually help lift up walls and things. So I they're... Uh... My, like, 100-pound <laughs> bulging muscles. Yeah. So they, they want you to help put up some walls, so I, I just need you to make some, some strength checks to see if you're you're capable of in your horse form. <laughs> oh, fucking a thousand percent. How many <laughs> strength checks do you want me to make? Uh just make one for right now. What you <laughs> that oh, wait, first that's a saving throw, hold up. That's a saving throw, my bad. Oh wait, it still uses the same modifier as my fucking athletics though. Yeah, it it you are perfectly capable of getting that first wall. Everybody is expecting to help you, and it just lifts out of their hands. It is already up to where it needs to be. Beautiful. Uh, the men rally behind you, cheer you on, <laughs> and Levi. As you're going around, you notice that the housing here seems to be in development. So there's a lot of open foundations and everything over on this side of town. Uh, I see, I see. Homes that have just, like, they're they're starting to be built. Walls aren't necessarily up yet. Or if there are, there's only a couple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm going to need you to make a... God, I need to just have this open. An investigation check. 
Yeah. Nice. You are perfectly capable of telling that there has been a certain cat running around by the dust prints and everything left from construction. <clears throat> All right, I got this. <clears throat> <laughs> Marcus, I need you to make another strength check. <laughs> Easy shit. Here, kitty, 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 come, kitty, come, kitty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the next one isn't your brightest time. The other men were very much impressed by your previous efforts. This one, they, uh, they misjudge how much strength you have, and they tried to leave it all to you, but it sort of fell into their hands, and they knew that they had to help. So the other guys were able to help you get the next wall up for the for the house. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to defend myself by saying uh, I had to pour a poor grip on it. <laughs> uh, persuasion, or would that would be yeah pers persuasion. <laughs> you clearly don't sound like you're defending yourself in a good way at all and just say guys guys i swear like my hand slipped like i, I don't know why i it's it's hot it's a hot day my, my hands were sweaty <laughs> my hands do get pretty sweaty <laughs> uh <laughs> Uh, Levi, can you make me a insight check? 13. You know that cats like to stay in higher places, and following the tracks, you appear to arrive at a house that has a second floor being built. And you think that the cat might be in that building up <laughs> upstairs. Well, let me let me let me tell you something. Hmm. I'm gonna. You're gonna, gonna you're gonna go a, into the, you're gonna go into the building. Do a pro gamer move and try to climb this building. <laughs> Wait, right. Is there is there stairs or is it just a frame? No, there's stairs to go to the second floor. This okay, one I'm has. Take, I'm just gonna take the stairs. Yeah, this one has quite a few fucking finished walls on the first floor. They're working on the second floor right now. My man just uses magic hand to fucking <laughs> lift himself up on the rooftops like Spider Man. Oh, well, a magic hand won't do that because it only lifts 10 pounds, and I weigh more than 10 pounds. When you right. go up the stairs, you see a small cat that is at the other side. There is down the hallway, and it goes into another room. That's a nice fucking kitty right there. It seems to be an orange, like, a uh, Garfield-style cat. I can't remember the name of those. <laughs> Are they Tabby? No, Man. it's not Tabby. I believe it's just called there. Orange. It's just an orange cat. Man, <sighs> Levi, you missed an opportunity there. Why? You could have said that's the greatest pussy I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it's a nice fucking kitty. <laughs> All right, Marcus, give me another go. Can you get the? Can you get that next wall up? You're goddamn right. I can. Of course, I can. I'm a centaur, baby. That's what we do. <laughs> Watch this shit. Ugh, nat 20. Oh! <laughs> As if attempting to prove yourself in front of these guys, really prove your uh, prove yourself. You you tell them to stand back. As you tie a rope around yourself, linked to both frames that are left for the other walls, and you just pull both up at the same exact time. As all all the men cheer going yes yes this is what it's about this is why i got into construction <laughs> to watch other people do their job for them <laughs> i came to see feats of strength like this <laughs> i'm gonna turn my head and give him like, like what? The, look on, the, the look on my character's face i'm gonna give him that look and ask well then why didn't you become a professional arm wrestler <laughs> I thought you were going to give him the good old fucking blank face from Konosuba and a thumbs up. <laughs> Kazuma. Uh, 
I'm sorry, man. I, I don't, I, I don't have any skill as an adventurer and I don't have much athletics. So I became a, a, a man who studies carpentry. A likely excuse. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep working. I'm just gonna ignore him. <laughs> uh, also a non-answer. <laughs> As you get to the end of the hallway, Levi, and go into the room in which you know the cat turned into, the cat is on the windowsill and jumps out the window. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to the window and see if it's down there still. Yeah. <laughs> you go over there and there is a small little like porch roof yeah. that it's standing on, and it is walking away to the other side. <laughs> Look at this fucking idiot! Can't even catch a cat. Goddamn, anyway, that's I'm it. Out of here. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast Mage Hand and grab the cat. <laughs> can oh, you? No. Can you surpass a cat's <laughs> a cat stat? You better I don't hope know. that. You better I'm about hope to find out. You better hope that cat doesn't weigh an ounce over fucking ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I hope he get. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I was gonna hope that you got like a seven <laughs> or something really low. This drops Roll the up. cat and it dies. <laughs> uh, you are perfectly capable of casting Mage Hand on the cat and lifting it up by a tuft like every other cat that gets lifted in any other show. <laughs> nice. I'm going to bring the cat to myself using the Mage Hand. Uh, the cat is going to attempt to attack you once you go to try to grab it. Bet. Uh, Levi, does <laughs> does a 17 hit? <laughs> my, uh, my armor class is 9, so I'm gonna go with yeah. <laughs> Alright, here. Here, it's only a cat, so we'll do this. Shit. <laughs> How'd that go for you? Not very well. Can you even set a D2 on this? Apparently not. Can. We just did it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it. So you take one damage from cat scratches. Oh. Uh, Inappropriate. <laughs> six HP now. <laughs> <laughs> and you appropriately, uh, Hold the cat away from you with mage hand as you're walking with it now. <laughs> My man took like a quarter of his health <laughs> just from a cat. <laughs> uh, and then I need you to the last thing that they want you to do because they feel you have done enough for them, Marcus. Is I need you to roll one more because they want you to just bring the material for the walls into the house. Oh, I see. So like I'm like a shit. Or it's like... it it's like a bunch of panelings and stuff for the wall, and it is on a sled that they uh, move around with the, a couple of them. Oh, interesting. Uh, ooh. Do I get advantage on this because I'm a fucking horse? I will give you advantage on it because you are a horse, and hauling what? things is a natural ability of a horse. True, because it says uh, in my Ekin build, uh, mm -hmm. I count as one size larger when determining my carrying capacity and the weight I can push and drag. Damn. All right. Cool. <laughs> uh, advantage. Athletics. Uh, I'm yes. Pulling. <laughs> pulling that twenty. Oh, you would perfectly fine. You you get all the rest of the uh gear and stuff that they need on there. They actually were so impressed by your feet of strength, they overloaded it, and you are just completely able to. Jesus Christ, just get it get the entire sled in there with no problem whatsoever. I'm starting to feel less like a person and more like a pack mule. You are a pack mule. That's why I put the deer on you. <laughs> Is he over here when he says this? Is he like saying this to my face? After I just walked up. <laughs> <laughs> you see <laughs> you see him holding a cat a foot away from him with mage hand and you don't know why. <laughs> uh nice cat. Thanks, bro. I just found it. Oh. Huh. I'm just gonna ignore him and keep pulling the shit inside. <laughs> well, look at Mr. Too Good to Talk. 
<laughs> when when you are done moving the rest of the stuff, you are you are able to can you just move. There we go. You know, Levi, that you have to return the cat right there. Right there. Okay. Yeah, that is where the owner is. I'm gonna give the cat a little pet before uh, Almarez takes him off. I don't fucking attacks you. Uh, the cat. Roll a nature check. Would it not be animal handling? Oh, do animal handling then. Let's go. 18. <laughs> the cat rolled a 3. So, uh, yeah, the cat seems to love done. you. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I didn't even get a chance to roll animal handling, but, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> Do you want to roll animal handling now? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? <laughs> no, you... No, because I, knowing you, you have to concentrate on Mage Hand. You're not thinking about it. You're just going to grab the cat. <laughs> You're using one skill already. <laughs> you know, he does have a point. You could have tried to roll animal handling to see if you can get the cat to come to you. It's a 13. You... The cat... Here, hold on. <laughs> the cat rolls. Never mind, it rolls a three again. Oh. <laughs> the cat, not knowing if it was just spooked earlier by the fact that it was floating, <laughs> uh, seems to have calmed down and knows that you mean no harm. Ah, uh, perfect. <laughs> Levi, well, hard, I never so got you... to do it animal handling, but I was also using mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what were you going to ask, Levi? Oh, I was seeing if uh, Vicia here was, uh, you know, done with his her construction shit. Are you... Is Vicia male or female? I'm just going to ask. Uh, Vicia's a girl. Okay, are you are you done with your construction shit? Uh, that's ma'am T. What? You fully uh, knowing yeah. that Marcus is Vizia in the game? <laughs> well, I mean... He's kind of watching me, like, drag the rest of the shit in here, so what happens after that? Uh, a a after that, the uh, foreman for the actual site will come up and shake your hand and be like, Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you've been a great help to us. The, uh, <laughs> the other men are a little demoralized that uh, a woman centaur showed them up at least twice today. <laughs> I don't know if I should take offense to that, so I'm just going to nod and ask him where I can receive my payment. Uh, the guild should have the uh, the payment, but I am going to send a message to them to increase it just a little bit. Nice. For how much you've done for us. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You're very much welcome. By the way, do any of you happen to have any wives among you? Uh, let's see. Jim over there is married to a ogre. Uh, another Fucking one's... ogre. <laughs> another one is married to a, uh, to a demi-human. Uh, a demi- A demi-human? Another one's married to a dwarf. And I think, I think Steve is, uh... Steve, what are you married to again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> She was a werewolf, and uh, <laughs> I caught something, so, you know, I can't. <laughs> oh, no. She was the woman to marry after that. <laughs> Damn. So, are all the uh, men there married? Uh, all except one. one. One appears to be single. He's a younger man. I am going to wish them all luck in <laughs> their marital affairs. <laughs> cool. With, like, a sour look on my face after they just <laughs> said one of the most sexist things to me. Well, A, Marcus, it's D&D &D world. They weren't expecting a female centaur to come up. And B, they had to accept it because you're part horse. Well, they're gonna have to learn it eventually, and now's the perfect time. <laughs> you see, this is modern morals uh, combating ancient morals. Even though in, like, ancient Rome, I feel like sexism was 
less rampant than it will than it is now because society has regressed since then so <laughs> the foreman apologized if it was ever in offense to anything as we are just saying we weren't expecting such a capable companion to come from the guild we were expecting young man adventurer and his long sword or young female adventurer with her staff or whatever she uses for equipment to come and help we weren't expecting to have such a a powerhouse arrive today really hulk hogan yeah <laughs> we weren't expecting hulk hogan <laughs> randy savage to arrive today to lift the entire house together the we're undertaker yeah, we we're expecting somebody to come here that wasn't going to reduce our work time by three weeks. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, I accept your apology. Thank you. Now I I must be off because I need to figure out where my companion went. A hey, uh, you you have the same map feature, so you can go fucking. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know that, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> when uh. Um, I'm going to walk away and uh, just open my map outside, away from them. Well, well people still have the identification card nope. with the map on it. Okay. They just don't know where you're going. Yeah, okay, yeah that's fine. I'm going to walk still, outside open my map. There's still privacy settings on the cards. You you see where Levi is. Now, now Levi, you you arrive at what appears to be a pretty decently nice house. I'm going to walk up. And I'm going to knock on the door exactly three times. I'm approaching him. Uh, to your, uh, to your surprise, a little girl opens the door and she appears to be sniffling. But, uh, cheers up immediately. Attention, I've got your cat. You hold it forward, thrusting the cat at the little girl? Is that what you're doing? Yes. <laughs> Can I slap him on the back of the head because of the way he said that made it sound like he's holding it hostage? <laughs> I, Levi, I need you to roll for acrobatics or perception? Bam, nailed it. Wait, acrobatics and perception are two very, very different things. Hold up. Let's let's go with perception. Uh, just because he's from coming from behind you. See, that's a little bit better. Now now, Marcus, roll roll to see if you can actually hit him. To see if I can hit him? Yeah. Oh, is he perceiving that I'm about to hit him? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I knew, I knew you were coming. Yeah. He he couldn't hear you clopping down the road up behind him. <laughs> Oh, uh, how do I roll an unarmed, uh, is it just my strength check? Is it just a strength check? It's just a strength check, and then you would add your strength to the, uh, damage afterwards. Okay, so a d20, plus four, <laughs> so 18, 19, 20, 21. <laughs> just by one. <laughs> Damn. Oh, did he get a oh, I see, I see. Uh... Levi? Oh wait, wouldn't yeah. his be a uh wouldn't his be like a dex saving throw or some shit? Cuz he's avoiding I, it. I will now make him roll a dex saving throw to see if he can get past that 21. <laughs> well, hey, good luck. Uh good news is my dexterity saving throw is negative 1. So I think <laughs> I got this in the bag. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh perceiving possible damage to yourself you are able to perceive it perfectly fine but your reaction time as a wizard is not the best and you are you are incapable of dodge the uh, dodging the incoming hits his it doesn't shell, do, <laughs> his mortal it, shell betrays him <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hurt it's just a nice little smack on the back of the head as if like what are you doing telling a kid that? <laughs> Non-lethal damage, baby. Yeah. I, mean, I gave the cat back, did I not? <laughs> yeah, but you said it as if you were taking it from them. <laughs> I literally said, I have your cat. With the, uh... no emotion, no context, nothing. If you had walked up to a stranger and said that... They, they had a motherfucking contract out it. to return their cat. What more do they need? <laughs> <laughs> uh... When you guys are uh, done with your argument, 
the mother of the little girl steps out from behind the door and uh she is very shocked she's just like oh uh i wasn't expecting such quick adventurers to find the cat already it is a rambunctious little fellow he appears to wander to the farthest places if he gets out i'm gonna hold my arms open for the cat to jump in <laughs> I animal uh... handling all right <laughs> i just want to take it from Wi-Fi. that's all i care about Uh, as you go to open you, your arms, the little girl also opens her arms. This piece of shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> and the Get cat fucked. jumps into the little girl's arms. <laughs> I'm going to give him the look that my character has in, in the icon. I'm going to give that look to the cat. <laughs> to the cat? <laughs> as if I've been betrayed. But then it quickly fades. <laughs> <laughs> the little girl will be like, "He, he's always loved me most." <laughs> I, I'm uh, just gonna, I'm just gonna hold the look. <laughs> oh God, the, just sitting there staring awkwardly along, like sitting between you and the girl. <laughs> the mom will go, "Thank you so much. Uh, I'm so happy that you're able to get my cat for my daughter. Uh, the, the reward." Uh, may not be a lot but i hope it helps you in your adventures thank you very much and you're welcome for the cat uh here is my business card as well and you will see that she runs an inn and she's just like you guys can have a free a free two night stay at the inn oh hell oh. yeah well thank you uh, when you when you look at the card, it uh, says the name Eleanor on it, oh. and yeah, it has the name Eleanor on it, the address for her shop and everything, and the name of the shop called Come On In. Mm, come on in. <laughs> I like how you perverted the pun. <laughs> Are we sure this is an inn, not a brothel? Uh, it's spelled C O M E, so it's a it's an inn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank God. <laughs> uh, but other than that, the reward is waiting for you guys for both of these quests, and the only thing left is the medicinal herbs. I'm just not gonna question the pun at all. Okay. Shall we go get some herbs, Vizia? Mm, yeah, we shall. Race you there. Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure about that? Are you Are you positive? Man, I'm already there. What are you talking about? I'm looking yeah, at your speed. Here. It's a 30, and I know his is 40. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's race. Let's race, huh? Let's race. Okay, okay you ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah. Bam, yeah. done. No, I need no, you both no. to roll an athletics check. <laughs> All right, bet. Roll your athletics oh, there, Oh, man. I want to know, even with your increased speed, if oh one of the... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What's with you on athletics, Marcus? That's three nat 20s you've gotten so far. No, you know, this was happening during uh, the one shot with uh, Soul Day 2. I I rolled four <laughs> fucking nat 20s in the, in the in the one shot. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at this man. <laughs> I told you, dude, my luck is impeccable. Levi, you're not the fastest wizard, but you've seen slower. <laughs> but you're racing a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and... And, and she's she's at the top of her game. And what are you doing, Marcus? Levi or Almarez sees me lift a single hoof, <laughs> and then there's just a cloud of dust that kicks up in the air. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm gone. I am just I'm I'm gone. Just insert the uh, the fucking Roadrunner noises from yes, me. yeah, <laughs> from fucking Bugs Bunny. As, and as... All, all you can hear is my laughter in the distance. As if making fun of you directly in your face, a Looney Tune style cloud does appear <laughs> in front of you as she is just gone. 
<laughs> well, I'm going to slowly make my way outside you, the city gates. You run like an average human wizard over to the spot where you need to go. He's in the field, eating a sandwich, having a nice time. <laughs> oh, I'm already looking for the herbs, might as well, right? <laughs> yeah, make a, uh, make a, uh, let's see, we had a difference. Make a nature check to see, uh, what you find around. Whoop. Oh. Uh, the, rolled a five. the, the actual, was that your nature check as well, Levi? Yeah. You you guys are looking around, you know that you need about 10 herbs for the request. And Levi finds probably about 6 of them and Marcus you find about 4. Nice. And it appears that now it's actually getting pretty late into the day just for all the things you guys have been doing. Uh what time does the guild close? The guild is open 24-7. Oh, thank oh. god. Unlike banks in, back in our, in our world. Dude, you're telling me. Do you know how yeah, fucking inconvenient it is working my schedule to do anything? Yeah, like, god, could you imagine if banks were open 24-7? Oh, that'd be Holy so nice. Shit. Anyway, you want to race back to the guild? Nope. <laughs> Are you positive? Yep. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> All right, give me one second to use the restroom and get some more water. And wow, look together. at the little piss baby going to the bathroom. Wow. Wow, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I drank a lot of water and liquids today. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm not going to lie. So did I. The entire time I was sitting at the fucking car dealership. Oh, well, yeah. man. I was <laughs> drinking this fucking bottle of water and I had to piss like three times while I was there. Oh, my God. You know what sucks? What's hmm. that? We're both going to have to cut this part out because we're taking bathroom breaks. That's fine. Uh, write the time down for when you're recording. It was like one twenty, one four. There we go. Problem solved. Yeah. See, we can we we can make this nice and easy for for ourselves. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, bathroom time. Yeah. Be right back, Levi. Oh wait. Um, also, Zach. Uh, is it okay if I like make the map for this city in the uh, map creator? Sure. Because <laughs> I know I'm gonna be up all night, so. <laughs> but. Marcus, if you do that, we can't play Elden Ring. But Zach wouldn't be able to join us for Elden Ring because he's probably ahead in the bed after this. You know what? Is that we, true, Zach? If we Are want to, to we can. We can. We've been recording for a while now. If we want to, how long has your recording been going for, Marcus? An hour twenty-four. Do we want to uh, wrap up all the guild stuff after we're back from our bedroom, our bathroom breaks, <laughs> bedroom breaks, and uh. Then we'll go take you guys to the inn and everything, and that will be the it for the campaign, like a little nice little hour and a half thing, and then we can play Elden Ring. Yeah, that sounds good, because we can uh, wrap everything up, like, with us going to bed. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds Perfect. good. Perfect. Cool. Awesome. Oh, okay, BRB. Yeah.
ballin', but at what cost? Nice. Check out Discord. <laughs> All the Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> there is airplanes and airships in this world. There are airplanes? Mm -hmm. Are they magical airplanes? Aw, oh, yeah. Mm. Can I learn how to fly a magical airplane? <laughs> I'm surprised you guys didn't ask why, uh, why the uh, Guildmaster looked familiar. Well, I already know it's Solaire. Good. <laughs> <laughs> did you not see what I put in the chat earlier? Oh, what did you put in the chat earlier? Uh, scroll up in the uh, the actual D20 chat. Uh, actually, I don't know. How far back does this go? Does it go all the way? I think so. Let's see, there's the charge. I'm not seeing any, uh, I see the find familiar. Where the fuck is it? Did like, everything looks like it's here. Did it not save in the chat? That's odd. That's very odd. Now the better question is, who else is in this world? Hmm. I don't know why it's not there. But, um... No, I put this in the uh, the chat after you uh, described him. Oh, yeah, 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 I saw it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's still there. It's right. Uh, it's right above your nine arcana after Marcus's 21 arcana and the fine familiar thing. Look for the find familiar, and then go up three boxes. Oh yeah, there it is. I don't know why it was so hard to find. I couldn't see it anyway. I think it's because uh, when it's you do the box, I think it does it as its own separate thing, like the boxes. But the moment you use the box, it pushed it up. Yeah, possibly. I think you're right. Oh no, no, because the new one is also on the same line as my name. Oh, it might just be the distance then. I don't know. It's very small. <laughs> it's very, very small. It just kind of blends in with everything. Like, it just kind of blends with the name, I guess. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Ho. You should see who oh, runs man. the pharmacy. <laughs> um, well, let's see. If we got Solaire running the guild, is it Milk Mommy? I'm not going to confirm nor deny any rumors. <laughs> Mm, about who's chest there chest. and how large her chest is. <laughs> Are we uh we good? Yeah, uh from from the uh from the innkeeper's quest to find the pet, you are given two gold. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Uh that's to split amongst you guys. Okay, so I, I get one gold, he gets one gold, okay. Yes. Nice. Uh, for the herb quest, they give you, uh, they're actually running a little bit of, a, a little low, so they give you 50 silver. Oh, boy. That's 25 each, Marcus. Oh, yo. Uh, and for the building quest, originally the reward was actually going to be something along the lines of just a gold, but they gave you ten. Holy shit. I like how oh. the guy's just like, mm, yeah, I'll tell him to give you a little extra, and they give you fucking ten times as much. <laughs> the problem is, is oh. that he reduced the workload of all those guys by three weeks. 
<laughs> so uh, is that split amongst us the ten? That's it's up for you guys on if you want to just split rewards and I'll stuff. Split it. Listen, I'll let you keep eight and I'll take two. No, it's okay. I already did the math. We're splitting it. <laughs> <sighs> okay, that means I gotta add five. So means to I be fair, six now. These are small jobs, and you guys said you would split up, so it's not like you guys are being unfair about it. True. Besides, like, I I mean, construction jobs do pay better than fucking finding a cat, so. Very true. And you set your strongest person to go take care of the construction <laughs> job as well. True. All right. So from there, you, uh. You know that the next time that you guys go to do quest, you only have to complete six more of the lowest rank quests to get a rank up in the guild. Nice. Nice. Not concerned with the fact that you're trapped in a fantasy world. You are. You are, uh. You are taking life. it in stride. <laughs> I've bettered my current life. I couldn't give a fig. <laughs> You know, sometimes you just gotta you gotta hope for the best, right? Plus, being a girl is kind of pog. Uh, the I'll name. I'll let trend... you. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you handle that one, Marcus. You can <laughs> handle what? Being a girl. What about I. It? You just said it was pretty pog. I'm just like, yeah, it's, I'll tell you, buddy. Yeah, man. <laughs> Listen. Well, I mean, <laughs> period and stuff aside, you know. And also, I guess uh, actually, it kind of sucks being a girl, but. <laughs> Listen, listen. You're gonna have the biggest periods of your life as a horse. Oh. Do wait, hold on. Do horses experience those though? Uh, so in humans, they regulate a bunch of like inner bodily inner bodily functions for women. So like, wait, what was the question? Hold up. Uh, if he's looking up if periods are experienced in horses. I mean, oh. they have eggs, they just stay just like humans, I'd imagine they do. Yeah. Oh, it's 21 days! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Good luck, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, honestly, at that point, it, it just becomes your usual, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like literally, like, 90% <laughs> of the month you're experiencing it. That's fucking brutal, though. Holy shit! Here, hold on. Let me let me make sure. Are you still looking into it? <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I have better numbers now. Oh no. Okay, so so the the point when you're in heat can last up to six days. Or an or can be from the range of four to ten days. Wow, that's less than me normally. Mark, so you're in heat every fucking day, you beat your meat. I know, <laughs> I know. That's why I said it's less than me. Normally. <laughs> so the period in which you are not in heat uh, during your during the cycle is uh, on normal fifteen days or twelve to eighteen days, and that's when that can happen. I don't want to be a centaur anymore. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> At least it's better than 21 days. <laughs> True. Anyways, so you guys make your way over to the inn, which is... Sorry, I'm looking for the text function. Mm -hmm. Am I blind? I can't see it. Well, I just... Ah! Oh, there it is. Oh my god, what? <laughs> you just drew it right on top of the fucking... <laughs> that doesn't help. Actually, that's fine. Yeah, we're good. It's right yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, right around here. It's it's snapping weirdly to things, and I can't make it move freely. <laughs> that's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, anyways, so uh, that's where the it is that Eleanor has suggested to you guys. The card uh, itself uh, 
It's not anything you have to show them. They already got told by Eleanor that a centaur and a wizard were going to be walking in with a brief description. What a fucking strange party. Yeah, it's really nice for innkeepers to tell people about guest advance when you can text. <laughs> not just that, but when, when the people you are expecting is the only centaur for fucking miles, I bet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's all true. Uh, they actually do have a larger room uh, for you, Marcus, that is more comfortable. They're going to put me in a fucking barn. No, they're not putting you in a barn. You're actually they're inside. It's a very man. nice barn. God damn it, shut up. We were, we were they, they should put the you in the barn. Veterinarian, the veterinarians <laughs> found me. Send them to the glue factory. <laughs> <laughs> what would they do? Would they just chop off the human part and put them the rest of the way through? We might, Probably. You gotta get me out of here, man. And, they said that they're gonna saw off my hooves. <laughs> and and the better question is, Levi, is if you saw a centaur in half, does everything have centaur DNA, DNA, or is it just the top half is human and the bottom half is horse DNA? I I imagine it's its own DNA. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd imagine it's pretty pretty unique. Yeah. So I, so I imagine it's like a uh, what's it called? Like you take the DNA and you fucking like. <laughs> Wouldn't that be uh, so mutated? That's what it is. It's probably mutated DNA between a human and a. a Wouldn't horse. that be so shitty though if you like got chopped in half from horse between human and you went to go get revivified with the human half and then you just had regular human legs? No man, because then I'd also have a horse companion. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Free horse. His his human half grows back. He has a dick, but the horse is still female. <laughs> so you I, just dude, need the two halves of yourself. I, I would be very confused because I'd also have boobs. So I... <laughs> yes, <laughs> you'd be the most unique horse girl in the world. <laughs> I wouldn't even be a horse anymore. You would still have the ears. Well, the ears are the ears are like elvish because they're a fae all right uh but other than that besides the con conflicting questions you both get really nice rooms to stay in nice nice the usual cost for one of these rooms would be about 25 silver a night nice a night mm -hmm. damn what is this a fucking five star inn i oh, couldn't place it on the main street but yes <laughs> And they got everything in here, don't they? Yes, uh, actually. The, how much? 25 silver? You, it didn't cost anything because you get two nights free. Oh, that's right. Holy shit. Yeah, we're, we're high we're rollers. Uh, in the actual rooms themselves, there are actual, like, baths, full-on shower rooms and stuff for you to for you to actually take care of yourself in. Oh, praise the Lord, I can take a fucking bath. Am I able to fit in the shower? Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank God. It's like just... onsen levels of just... It's massive. Jesus. How do they have a room this big? They're a massive five-star inn. Uh, yeah, you know you're right. And there's other massive creatures in this world besides you. Oh, yeah, that one dude was married to an ogre, so... Yes. We don't talk about people's sexual preferences either in this world. The dude was literally just into ugly bastards, so he decided to marry an ogre. <laughs> he was thinking uh, he he got the whole lord demetrescu the whole lady d thing on the wrong direction Ugh. i mean is what isn't it like right direction but but wrong I mean, yeah i we don't know how pretty his wife is she could be gorgeous uh hold up let's see prettiest ogre <laughs> That would be uh, Fiona. Uh, let me see what the prettiest. It okay. Fiona is one of the things that popped up. I'm not even lie. <laughs> uh, High ogre from Dragonlance. They look kind of normal. I could see that maybe. Uh, this is so random. The things that we have gone into. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's good for like random content and jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Like the most random immersion possible. <laughs> is is this his wife? 
Oh, I can't post pictures in there. God damn it. We'll post oh, it in Discord. Uh, no, if you, you can upload it to your art library and you can drag it as a token. Yeah, I don't want to do that though. I just wanted to uh, put it in the chat. Oh. Is this his wife? <laughs> the fucking. What is that? Is that from RuneScape? It's an old school RuneScape for Ogre. Yeah. Oh my, god. oh my god, that's beautiful. Uh. Oh wait, no, I found his wife. Hold up. I didn't realize RuneScape actually had female ogres. Oh my god. You know what? More power to him, to be honest. <laughs> You, I, I will not give the details of how attractive his wife is. But we can go to his house later and find out, right? Yeah, she's not Fiona, but she's not, you know, old school uh, RuneScape ogre. Levi's, Levi's rubbing his hands together thinking about it, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready. He's about to turn that, he's about to turn that construction worker into Sneeko. Levi isn't prepared for the, <laughs> Levi isn't prepared for the custom thing that I have built for him in this campaign. Oh no, I'm terrified in... now. Wait, hold up. No. <laughs> the construction worker is in the Sneeko chair. <laughs> Be me. Necromancer. Refuse to engage in uh That's sex not... with uh No no no, no 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 Lawful newt uh, lawful good wizard. Decides to cuck random guy for fun. <laughs> <laughs> you have really, you have really done it all. It is lawful, and if he enjoys it, it is good. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> See, I think the funnier thing about it is that. Do you want me to give you its name? Um. Or would you like it to remain a surprise? Is the name going to give it away? Yes. Let it, surprise. yeah, let it be a surprise. Okay. Yeah. Later on, you are going to have a very fun time. Oh no, I'm terrified. <laughs> uh, anyways, I think we can end the little campaign section with you guys going to bed. Yeah, episode one, baby. Hopefully, yeah. uh, episode two, uh, Bree will be here. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's gonna be uh, doing one of the things, and we have surprises with her as well. Oh, baby, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, well, well. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, subscribe. Yes. yes. Uh, if you didn't, subscribe. Yes. <laughs> and if you really hate it, make sure you leave a really nasty comment. And yeah, subscribe. Like, I love you. <laughs> and fully Percival. Or if you really want to hate me, you can, because I still don't care. <laughs> I hate uh, him. I can confirm he doesn't care. Yeah. Well, anyway, have a good one. And also, Marcus is a homophobe, so if you really want to, you know, get under <laughs> his skin, go ahead and donate to some LGBTQ uh, plus charities. That'll uh, really help out. Yeah, yeah, do it. It'll make me really upset, I promise. Yes, the man playing a woman, he's seamless. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Just ending.